tank came out of a travel trailer. I don't know if I've talked to you or showed it to you or not. It came out, out of a travel trailer that the wonderful renters that were here before had gutted this travel trailer and just left it strewn all over this yard and then took the, cass the chassis with them when they left. Thank God. Yeah. But one of the things they threw away was this tank. Um, I'm trying to use it in the treehouse, so I've got to check it for leaks. Right now, it looks like, so what I did was I sealed up all the holes. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I did one of those Selena things. Let me explain. So, my son, the genius, gave me a bunch of plumbing pieces, all this rubber tubing, all this shit that I'm using, and I went and bought what turned out to be one tiny bag, which was $56 worth of plumbing supplies, in case you want to know how expensive things are. Okay, so, but my son, the genius, had this. It's called Permatex. It's for putting pipes together. And so he said, Mom, put that on your threads. They won't leak. So, of course, being Selena, I not only put them on the threads, I put them all around the outside. Yeah. Okay. Then found out it doesn't really ever dry completely because, of course, it's pipe dope. Right. So... I left it dry. He said, but it'll dry most of the way. And it, you know, so I left it dry for three or four days. I had to do shit you wouldn't believe. I had to make a plug over here out of a cap and JB weld because I couldn't find anything to cap that off because it was made for black pipe and they had no, no caps for, for black, black pipe. pipe. I'd got a brass fitting closing it here. I've got a plastic fitting closing it here. I had to jerry rig this and make threads to get that to work. I had to thread this. I had to drill a hole here and thread because what has to happen is this is the fill hole. Mm -hmm. So the fill hole is at the top. Is at the top, of course. And of course, this is what will go to the sink right here, this mm -hmm. pipe here. Right. Okay. Oh, this okay. This is the fill hole. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here's what has to happen with the fill hole. The fill hole has to have, it'll go down and it'll hook onto a hose fitting and there'll be a hose that hangs down under the treehouse. You'll go over, you'll plug it all up. You'll have the water will go into the tank. But in order to do that, you have to have an air hose. Mm -hmm. Because otherwise, a oh, vacuum force is in there. Of course. And it won't fill. Right. Or it won't fill correctly. Right. Okay. So I had to put in an air vent. So I had to drill a hole here, thread this pipe, put this in. So for the... I, okay, so... Then this will go out the wall, and this will go out the wall. Oh, okay. This will go out the wall. You'll know when the tank is full, because water will come out of this pipe. That makes sense. So you're down below, you're filling it. When the water comes out of this pipe, you know to turn the hose off. Okay. Simple enough, right? Right. No, this was a goddamn cluster, let me just tell you. <laughs> but at any rate, but I used this shit everywhere as you can see the white stuff everywhere so far the only place i had a leak was i know i have to put a hose clamp here mm -hmm. i knew that from the get-go yeah, yes i definitely do because when i had the tank all the way full it leaked around the hose but not the fitting which is good this fitting seems to be holding well this one that i jerry rigged seems to be holding well the one on the back side seems to be holding well I'm not sure about whether this one is leaking. If it is, it's leaking in a weird place. But I don't really know because it's been full now. I filled it all the way to the top. Mm -hmm. That's the only way I could. And I did that by holding the hose in there. Right. So that, you know, and I filled it all the way to the top. It's still dripping out of here. Right. So it could I be, can't it... tell if that's dripping or not. But I put the rubber and you'll notice I've got this where it's pointed up. So that it's below, above this. Above that, right, exactly. Okay, it's above this, so the water, but when the water started running out of this hose, then I knew it ha I had it full enough to check it. I took this hose that'll eventually go to the faucet. That's gonna be a jerry rig mess for sure. Um, and I tied it up high. Okay, so I need to check, I'm worried about this. I'm worried that this drip here is actually coming from not the, what I put in, but the original plastic weld on the piece that that went into. Oh, yay. Yeah. Well, it's an easy enough fixed. I can do it with a glue gun. Yeah. Um, 
But what I need to do, because this just keeps drip, drip, dripping here. It's got to sit long enough to quit dripping and then dry. Well, no. So you know. Well, I've got bleach in it because I wanted to clean it. Oh, so you're going to have to dump so it. So I put a cup of bleach in it. No, I don't have to dump it. I'm about to show the peeps what I'm going to well, do. Well, okay, okay. Okay, so now I would really like to see if that bottom one, but of course it's still drip, drip, dripping out of here, and it's hard to see if that's splash up or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower my hose because there's an air thing here. That's another thing. If you didn't have this, when you turned this faucet on, it wouldn't run. No, of course not, because it's a vacuum. Because there's a vacuum. But okay, it's running so right now. It out, and that's running, running, running. So that I can get this down low enough that I can see if it's leaking out of the bottom. Then I'll pick it back up. So I'll let a bunch of water out of it. Yeah. Meanwhile, I bleached the tank, which right. is very badly needed to be done. Well, of course. One of the things that's cool about this is it's a stu super strong tank because it was made to go in a travel trailer. Right. And it has water baffles in it. Yeah. That's okay. So what are the water baffles for? There's water baffles on both sides. That's so when you're driving, it doesn't slosh around and change the center of gravity too bad. <sighs> Okay, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so that's why it has water baffles. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, there's that fitting down there, the brass one you said was there. Yeah, I think there is a leak around the, I hope that's not leaking. No, that's, you know, it's hard to tell because there's so much water from the tank overflowing. It's hard to tell, but I think it may be, oh, it may be leaking here too. My plan for if it's just minor leakage. My plan is to go ahead and install the tank anyway. And there's this wonderful product that they make for, it's a spray foam, like we use for insulating with, and you've seen me use all over the place. It's a spray foam, but it's made for plugging holes that are leaking in water features and ponds. Right. So it works really well. What If I don't have any major leaks, mm -hmm. what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and install it and I'll purposely make sure that there's areas around there that I can spray foam into, mm -hmm. and that spray foam should close up any minor leaks that I have. But any anyway, rate, I think that's actually low enough. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick this back up. I'm going to leave it alone for a minute. First off, I want that bleach water to soak in the bottom of that tank. Yeah. But, um, anyway, whoop. Or not, or not. Or I'm not, not going to do that. Oh, no, oh, this didn't. has been a test. If this had been the real deal, <laughs> it would have worked. That was only a test. Fast forward past that. <laughs> okay. Now, see, you guys, you guys distracted me. I wouldn't have made that mistake if I wasn't distracted. <laughs> okay. Like a cat. You meant to do that. Yeah, I meant to do that. <laughs> Okay, so now I gotta check and see what I've got. I think I have a leak around that. Now that I think it's leaking around this where the plastic weld was. And literally I can fill that in. Now this one's leaking too though. I think you're right. I think this one's There's leaking a drip too. there and there wasn't any reason for a drip there. No, there, it's leaking around the outside edge. That doesn't surprise me. The cap the plug that I got for that didn't actually fit right. Oh of course not. So that's that's actually leaking. I can that will spray foam should hold that because it's not a major leak. And it's not this tank is not pressurized. No. Okay, so this is not pressure. When you could not do fixes, half-ass fixes like this, if this was going to be pressure, if this was water pressure. Right. If you were had a direct feed up there and you had all that pressure, these would blow out. Yeah. Okay. But when you don't have pressure, like with drains mm -hmm. or stuff, you can fudge a little bit more. Mm -hmm. You know, so the back that. one's not leaking. This brass one is not leaking at all. This was a fucking plastic fitting. It was the only one they had that would fit there, and it's leaking. It's of not course. leaking bad, but it is leaking. And this one is leaking, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I can see the drip. And it's leaking around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the ones that are leaking. I'm going to try to fix them before I foam. I'm going to try to fix them with probably hot glue. Mm -hmm. Is hot glue a good thing to use on pipes? Normally not, but no pressure. Mm -hmm. There's no pressure. You might also use silicone or something like that. 
don't have any silicone right now. Why do I not use silicone when I don't have it? Because I don't want to go to the hardware store. There you go. It'd be better to go to the hardware store, but I don't want to! <laughs> Every time I walk in that fucking place, it costs me a fortune! Yep. And nobody kisses me! <laughs> If you're going to screw me, I at least want to be kissed. Oh, I'll remember that. Okay, there you go. But yeah, so I'm going to get up, if I can find one in this godforsaken mess of a shop, I'm going to get a Sharpie. Well, you won't have any freaking ink in it now that I found it. Um, I'm Sharpie and I'm going to mark where this is leaking over here. So I'll make a little arrow. This is leaking every it's leaking right here on the bottom side. So I'll make another arrow there. And um, yeah, it's, it's not much ink, but there's enough for me to see it. Yep. Even I can see it. <laughs> but yeah, now that now that I have all that and now that it's set a few minutes, I'm gonna let all the water out of this tank. That makes sense. And then I will try to fix that real quick. And then I'm hauling its happy ass up and I'm installing it and I'm going to foam the shit out of all those joints. We'll check that and out. And hope for the best. If the motherfucker still leaks and we got water running out our cabinet, I blame you. <laughs> we'll check back with you later.